Yes, what's good, everybody? <clears throat> Quick ship vid. Absolutely buzzing. Went to game last night. Awesome. Went to tried to get. We, we literally got there for kickoff because the Leeds Fest, the bus, like, absolutely fucked us. So we were literally, like, got there, bang on the kickoff, me and my mate. Um, mint atmosphere. I was so buzzing. It's my first game back for Donkeys. It was just so good. Um, obviously, my eyes are so shit. We're in cop end, and I can literally. I just can't see to the other end of pitch. It's mad. So I'm just trying to guess what's happening. But standout moments were like Lorente played, which it didn't show on highlights, but truly Lorente played two of the most outrageous balls. Well, not that I've ever seen. I don't want to go too over the top, but it were it were the contrast and there were like a minute in between each other. Like he played a ball like out, like a curved ball out round the wing. I can't, I think Rodrigo ran onto it, but that, that's when it got to that point. I couldn't see. My eyes are shite, but... And then it got cut back. And that, that's why I'm surprised that one didn't get into highlights. Because one, it was a really good ball. And two, we actually made a chance out of it. So that was like a curved, like, cultured one. And then he just ripped one. Like, pinged one out wide to Harrison. Full length at pitch. Like like we always do. We play that diagonal ball. But he ripped it. Absolutely fucking lamenthe. Absolute beast. I know we were only crew. But it was just so good to see a lot of lads in live in the flesh. Because I've not seen them for so long. For sure back, he looked really good. Phillips, 90 minutes. Um, Harrison was honestly amazing. And I know it's only crew, but he was so tricky on ball and stuff. Costa were getting a little bit of pressure by fans and stuff, which I think is sort of natural, but I just think it's a bit of a shame. Because um, he could sort of sense it in him a little bit, a couple of strikes he had and stuff. Ailing came off at bench. Bamford came off at bench. Good to see Bamford. Bamford was so unselfish in highlights. It, that that third goal, I think it's Harrison's third, second goal. The way he does that centre back is just amazing, and he's really has got a yard of pace, Bamford. Um, which you know, I saw some stats of him to be fair the other day, and he was like fifth highest, uh, fastest sprint of the week type of thing. Um, which I, you know, it's just good. As I say, Struick's a fucking beast, a huge man. Um, Shaq has loads of energy. Furpo looks a bit weak defensively, but he does look good on ball. And when he's getting forward, it's good to see him. Uh, but yeah, mint team out, like real strong team out. Uh, it was ace. But just mint to see him. Like I didn't, I didn't expect the team. I knew the team would be strong, but I didn't expect it to be that strong. Meslier. It was just, it was just mint. The atmosphere was outrageous. The chants were funny. It was just everything that I've missed in football games. It's getting back into cop and just having a laugh and going to Peacock afterwards and. Well, we ended up getting smashed, to be fair. We went out and just got lashed. But um, apparently, anybody that bought tickets for last night get priority uh, to Liverpool to the Liverpool game on 12th of September, which has caused a bit of an upset. But I don't think it means literally priority. Obviously, it'll go through the membership um, tiers. And then before it gets to general sale, you'll get priority. That's all, that's all that means, I think. But yeah, um, Harrison's chip was outrageous. Uh, lovely strike for his goal. Phillips's was nice from corner, but you know, just mint, just mint to watch. Just fucking loved it, having a laugh with everybody around us. There was a chant going on about this number ten that had blonde hair, with crew, and shit. Alioski chant came out, which was funny. He was a bit of a penis, that guy. He was a bit of a show pony, but yeah, it was most famous he'd been all night. Um, my favourite chant was um, "You've had your day out, and I'll fuck off home." Which is because that's when we started to beat them. We, we, what, there were a bit of. Um, one of my mates said we were shitting first half. It's not true. The crew were just giving everything they had, and then we 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 never we never tried to push it too much. We were we were really holding on to the ball. Like at one point, we had them quite literally penned in, and like they want a player. They were nowhere near our own half. We were literally like centre back was fucking in well about 50 yards away, from 40 yards away from their goal. It was mental. We literally had them penned in. They just couldn't get out. It was really good to watch, and they just kept moving ball like Man City style. And then they just buckled. They just went. Uh, but, yeah, mint, mint to watch. Loved it. Early enough at bench. Good to see them. It's just good to see them click off at bench. I wasn't expecting that either. For sure played really well, like I say. Lamenthe with them two disgusting balls. Yep, so a bit of transfer news. <coughs> uh, Daryl Dyke, who's a 21-year-old, uh, he's not a female 
lesbian, but he is called Daryl Dyke. He's a 21-year-old striker from USA, plays for Orlando. Don't know not about him. He's just a young lad, meant to be quite powerful and stuff. Be interesting to see what happens there. I think that's it's on about a loan deal for him. That Leo Hedge that I mentioned yesterday, that apparently that deal's all but done, so he's set to sign defender. Um, and then Everton, Aston Villa and us want um, a lad from Sheffield United called Daniel Jebinson, who's an 18-year-old forward. So whether any of that comes in or not, I, I think the Leo Hedge, from what I've seen, Phil A was saying the other day that it's definitely on, and then that. Um, but yeah, fucking Wednesday already, it's mental. So Sunday's coming round up Burnley, aren't we? Um, Where's everybody watching that? I'm off to Leeds Fest this weekend, if anybody's about. But I will be back for Leeds game, so I'll um, I'll drop in then. But I might do a live before that and that. But I'll get I'll I'll let you all know about that as as we get a little bit closer to the time. But yeah, shout out to everybody, my new followers, everybody. Appreciate you all. Uh, take it easy. I'll see you in a bit. Surprises why I asked.